okay so I would try to explain what I did here so this is the raw data for us and this is the XRM chart uh, I think yeah there was no graph in this sheet so I actually copied it and did it in the next because this sheet says no temperature change but there was already these values omitted here and the graphs were plotted according to that so I copied these values again and tried to plot the graphs as I will show you how it works <coughs> sorry uh, I removed uh, the calculations from before so I did it again so these are the raw values and I put a new column called observation because it's much easier to look which values were having problems so between 2 to 3 we have 3 values which were thought to make a change to the process so first you can calculate the control limit so it is just the base it's just the sum of uh, these moving averages remember that these values are 0 already uh, so uh, this is the control limit based on the sum of this column of moving average for run 1 divided by the total number of, of, of observations and so that is actually B41 so 39 and minus 1 because that's what it says in the in the slides now we have the control limits and then the upper control limit uh, sorry this is the mean and then the control, uh, upper control limit is uh, D4 value so, uh, so yeah it's this and then we multiply it with the with the mean and then the same is for lower control limit but then we use the value d3 which is zero so actually the lower control limit is zero so the idea is if we have to see whether an external anomaly or external change has caused our process to go out of control what you have to do is because we are anyways plotting our center line control limit upper control limit and lower control limit based on run 1 what you have to do is first check for run 1 if these values made any difference so what you have to do is you plot these three columns along with this and check if at point 30 31 and 32 there was an anomaly because of the temperature change so I actually did that did that here I think the file which was uploaded on Facebook it did not have anything for run 1 so when you plot it here you actually see that for observation 30, 31 and 32 so this is point 30 this is point 31 and this is point 32 you already see that there are two extremes so now we already know that the temperature has caused the well I mean we don't really know if the temperature actually caused it but we cannot really include these values in the sample anymore so we have to remove these values and then recompute the limits again so what's actually going on here is also the fact that it shouldn't never start from point one it should always start from point two I think the file which Joachim I'm sorry if I said your name incorrect uploaded starts from point one so that's actually wrong because what you did was you started plotting it from value here onwards and actually when Excel plots it it shifts the graphs to the left so everything starts from here which is wrong because then we, we, we won't really know which point is what because it's actually one shift to the left so now at least for XRM chart we know that the process was out of control for point 30, 30, 30 and 32 so now we cannot really use these values what you have to do is go and exclude sample 10 so which is this so between 215 to 245 you remove it what also you did before was only remove this and the problem is that is that you control you you check the control uh, the central line and the upper and lower control limits based on run one but then when you plotted it before as you can see it here what you did before was you also plotted these lines for moving averages 
what is it? yeah so there were, there were actually values here so if I can maybe control Z here you will see yeah so see what you did was you already had values here so actually you don't really know where your control limit lies here you don't really know that I mean sorry you you know when you when you calculated the control limits you actually excluded it, excluded these values but then when you're calculating moving averages how do you know where these points lie because for these lines you don't really have any control control limit and that was an error in these graphs so I actually removed it this shouldn't really be continuous it should start from 2 not 1 yeah pretty sure it was 1 and also there should be a empty line here so let me just forward it again yeah I think it was just that. yeah so now the values should start from 2 yeah that's correct and also you should have a non-continuous graph here so yeah you plot it this way so now it's okay I mean you don't really need to plot it here anymore it's of no use but so I'm just gonna delete that yeah so now based on this we can make interpretation because there are a lot of extreme points so I think that's really important to see I don't really think there are continuous six point I mean oh I don't know the rules for RM chart are different I don't really know so that's how it will be done for the XRM chart. Also, I see that the EWMF values are from the previous file which I uploaded. So that's not actually correct. I'm just going to delete it. And I'm also going to delete it. Yeah, I think the same should be done for XR chart. You should check it first on run 1 and then decide if you are going to remove or keep the values so I'm not gonna touch these maybe if you like somebody can do it because I already did EWMA yeah and now I can show you the EWMA chart what was the problem here yeah so again you calculate the mu all the Greek letters and then you calculate your limits so the limits are here you plot it along with the mu line but then you always check first for run 1 and for run 1 the mu value uh, the EWMA values are here you calculate it like this based on the formula yeah I think I did correct yeah the first time you have to use average and from next time onward it's one value before one value before uh, yeah so now you can see for run 1 that there was no difference between I mean there was no anomaly occurring here so point, point 0.30 was okay, point 0.31 was okay, point 0.32 was okay they did not really cross the limits so you don't really have to remove these values when doing the EWMA chart so for XRM chart we already know that we have to remove the values and for EWMA we don't really have to remove the values so maybe somebody can check for XR, XR chart if I'm correct and also I'm going to yeah, copy this copy oh. maybe put it so far okay so copy and paste yeah I also get the graphs it's called EWMA and it should be final Also, we don't really need the temperature controlled 
I already put not required because we did not really cross any control limits here so we, you don't really have to control for the temperature change around here so for EWMA it's not a problem for XRM it was a problem maybe check also for XR chart so let's see how that will go so I hope it explains it and I hope I made myself clear now because what we did here was was wrong here because you cannot because you don't really know the limits for these values for these moving averages but it was plotted anyways here and also this graph should be without continuity here and should start from point 2 so check that for maybe XR chart 2 yeah. and I think this we don't really need this sheet anymore so I'm just gonna yeah I mean whatever you can delete it so I'm just gonna save it and I'm gonna go on Facebook here. and I'm just gonna add this file here so I think I should yeah so I will just upload the file it's just taking too much time so I'm gonna upload this video and I'm also I'm uploading the file here now updated file Yep. So that's pretty much it.